Well, it is uh, time for dismemberment uh, because I've adjusted the nut slots. I haven't taken any meat off the top yet. I'll do that when the neck is free. Um, I've readjusted truss a little bit. Now that that's down, I readjusted a couple of the strings here for action. I find that there's one a little bit high here, the B. I might have to change the length of the set screws in that. They're very sharp on the top, but the, all the rest of them I've gotten them close enough that I don't think they'll worry except for the B string. And that means it's time to cut strings. And unfortunately these these seem to be the Dario strings. But they're not savable because they wrap so many wraps around the top of the headstock. Even if I tried to get them off and put them back on, I, I couldn't get them. Um, I couldn't get them through the uh, the bridge. So it's a shame uh, because I did check some frets here, and oh, there's a lot of them that are going to need some work. Well, look at that. That G string is still sitting too tight in there. Okay. We're going to save that one. I'm going to have to fix that. I found that a couple of them were uh, snagging, which could have contributed to the poor tuning when you use the whammy arm. Yeah, but I think the rest of these I've opened them up good enough so that they're, they're not snagging at all. Let's just check. Oh, oh, now that they're off, I'm going to have a better chance of working with that. So before the dismemberment, I'm going to go back and uh, check on the width of the nuts, slots. <clears throat> Let's see how easy these are to come out the back. I did intonation. The bridge is now sitting full back based on the string tension. Uh, spring, spring tension. Let's see what they have in store for me with the neck. These screws aren't very long. Oh, there goes the ferrule. And yes, they have all the washers underneath. Just like the uh, TT20. All right, that should do for now. Ooh, <clears throat> the neck is not tight at all in the pocket. And there's that, Jim. Just as I told you, sitting at an angle like that. Not even in a good place. Hmm. <clears throat> what did they put? What did they put? They put a .38. Point forty one, a point forty, a point thirty nine, I should say now, point thirty eight. So it looks on average it's about point thirty eight to point forty millimeters. That broke off. I may use something else later. get what I really need. Yeah, so I'm going to have to clean this up as per usual. And I noticed that there's a, down here it's nice and smooth and satiny, but here it's satiny, but it's not as smooth. So I'm just going to have to touch that up with a little bit of scotch bright. All of the ferrules were tight. I did have to tighten up a couple of these buttons up here. The posts are not too bad with the ferrules in. 
except up here this one is even with a furrow in but the rest of them are not too bad but it is a positive movement there's no slack in it I think I'm gonna at least if I don't take them all completely off which I, I would like to avoid if I could the heads of the screws on these things are tiny, tiny little things. And that's going to be terribly hard to see, but they're tiny, tiny little screw head screws. The same with the ones on the back. That's a little bit smaller than usual. And at least the ones on the back, uh, I can replace with standard pick guard um, screws, which have the head which will actually fit this size screwdriver, which is the number two Phillips. All right. Yes. So uh, I'll probably take these ferrules off and maybe put a drop of oil down inside each one of them, spin them up, help to lubricate and smooth them up. The string trees are okay. I'm going to keep those. I'll probably going to take that off though if I can clean the headstock around those uh, posts once I get them out. Okay. So the body needs to go to bench two. Um, we will do work on that over there. In this light, uh, with the big LEDs overhead, I've noticed that there's a lot more buffing issues than I saw earlier. I did wipe it down with NAFTA just to see if, there was, if it was mostly dirt. It's not. Um, so, yes, a little bit more uh, buffing issues that I'm going to have to take care of. Let's see how the knobs come off. Oh, I think it's going to come up good. Oh, there it is. It's a flying knob. That's okay. That'll go at bench two. So, I'm going to move this to bench two. I'm going to clean all this up. But how's my pocket? Let me see. The pocket's not bad. They didn't put a lot of paint and poly in it. The lip... The lip is not that bad either. I think they did do some sanding here. I can see some evidence. Did they, uh, did they leave a chip of wood there? Yes, they did. All right, that's not bad. And uh, there's some evidence of a little bit of sanding on this side as well. So they did try to clean up the pocket as best as possible before putting that in there. Oh, one of the screws holes are bigger, which is probably the one they hung it with because it doesn't have the big one. Yeah, so that one's okay. The rest of them, actually this one's oversized because that's the one they used to hang it. And then the other ones are all just a tad too small. I'm thinking, uh, let me just check something here. <clears throat> With my tool. Yeah, okay. There was just a little bit more. There's already a gap there anyway, so we don't really have to worry about that side too much. And there's a gap over there as well. Okay, that's a little bit flatter. I see a little bit of shiny over the lip. Yeah. So if there's a little bit of shiny just coming over the top, that means it's higher. 
Good. Okay. I'll see you in a bit. I've marked up 16 frets that have high points that I can measure at this point. Um, so I can't use this one to check that one, for instance. So there's still some things that you've got to do later. But with that many, I can use my leveling files to go across there and uh, work on the mass and then once the masses are pretty good and we have those persistent ones and we'll go after those individually to make them fall in with the masses because we don't want any wolves in here we want all sheep to follow each other I just want to mention that I do something re recently about the red is what I'm going after and then I color all the other frets blue so when I start to see material coming off at the blue, I don't want to touch those frets, so you got to start being careful around them. And don't forget to make sure you flatten your fretboard after the string tension is off and before you tape it. And I'm off. Alrighty. It's done. Oiled polished. Um, stainless steel are much harder to work on. I think everybody who works on them tell you that. But it went pretty good. Just a little bit more elbow grease. Oh, I removed the collars and I put a drop of Dura Lube down inside. Spun them up be good and then when I get to the body and I'm gonna buff I'll come back and buff the headstock here so now it's off the bench too